You get out in your garden. That's what Jill Bellin's focusing on this morning with our friends down at Green Gate. Jill, what kind of advice do you have for us now? Well, lots of advice here from Greengate Garden Centers and courtesy John Duncan, who is helping us along the way. So this is something that we're going to do, a potted plant, a little bit hardier, right? Yep, so some tough stuff, yep. Okay, can survive into the month of May. <laughs> Sometimes there's frost in May. It happens around mm -hmm. these parts. Okay, so what, we're going to dig in. What are we going to do? Okay, so what we got here is we got a um, purple fountain grass, uh -huh. which is dark, dark foliage in the sun. And then we got some geraniums and some pucaras, which I always like to use foliage plants because they no matter what mother nature kind of throws it if as long as you have a lot of texture mm -hmm. then it always looks good okay if mother nature throws a curveball it still looks nice so. okay fantastic yeah so what can i do okay so what we're gonna do is put another geranium in here okay now you've already put what did you put in the base oh of the so we got some potting soil at the bottom okay if the pot was any bigger then we put some drainage material at the bottom yeah because we only need about eight inches of soil because that has so much annuals grow here in the season. I just stick it in yep. there? Stick Should I break there. that up? A little bit, yeah. Okay. So just break it up a bit. And then we'll just place it in there. Okay, fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. And does this do well in sun or shade? This is all full sun stuff. Okay. Yeah. What else? Oh, that looks pretty. Mm -hmm. And then another, this is Namisha, so put the red with the pink. I always like the contrasting colors. So just give it a good. The contrasting colors? Yeah. Throw the tag out, break it up, toss her in. Okay, so this is something that people can get going on right away. Yeah, for sure. And, and the best part with like putters is if the weather does go awry, especially if you're smart and if they're big, put some wheels at the bottom, you can roll it into your garage and right. roll it back out again. Okay. Oh, that's a good tip. Well, you're not digging out or covering all your annuals outside and then doing the right. things to roll it in and out. That whole yeah. dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. What goes in next? Okay. So then One more got, thing. Okay. So then we have some um, calipacoa, which is like a petunia, but smaller. Beautiful. And we're going to put that right in the front here. I like that. Okay. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Our planter's almost full. Yeah. What do you think? Would you go for more? Yeah, we'll fill in. We can fill in some of these holes at the back here. Okay. With another. We got some wave petunias here. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to let you do that and just mention really quickly we have a great contest that's on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Your chance for a garden makeover courtesy Greengate. So head to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Click on contest. Look for the Greengate logo. Send us a picture of your garden or your lawn or whatever needs a makeover. And the two of us are going to join you along with cameraman Nick and we'll put it all on TV and give you a little updated garden for you. So thanks very much, John. No problem, Jill. Uh, there's something called Haute Couture, which is right around the corner. That sounds like right up my alley, guys. Did you say Haute Couture? Like oats? I think so. <laughs> or Haute.